Zoe and Frankie. And I'm Zoe. Welcome, Welcome to, to our last show, show for the term. Boo hoo. First up on the show, we have some photos of three students with the fish they had caught on the fish with on the fishing rods they won at the end of last year. The photos were sent to the sponsors of the rods, and they all won more prizes. Yeah, so cool. Well done, you fishermen. Now we have some amazing animal art from room one. That looked so cool. Yeah, so cool. Next we have Kane, Nate, Kaharoa, Rosie and Chase reading their writing. Sperm whale and colossal squid. Swimming through the ocean, a sperm whale scouts for food. He was swimming for hours but didn't find anything. So he took a big breath and dove down deep. While he was down deep, he saw a light. It shone at him like a torch. He started swimming towards it. As he got closer, it grabbed him. It was a colossal squid, and it dragged him closer to its beak. He fought and fought until one tentacle got in his mouth. He bit that tentacle into smithereens, and the colossal squid let go. Spermile grabbed the different tentacle and started to jump closer and closer to the body. Sperm whale being the mammal, he is needed to take a breath. So he let go and swim to the surface. When sperm whale was gone, colossal squid bolted as fast as he could. As sperm whale goes back down, all he finds is ink and colossal squid smithereen. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Green 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 Desperately longing for his favourite coffee. Coffee machine scream is the building order. He makes a coffee with hot water and creamy milk. He has a sip and burns his tongue. Ouch! Ouch! 
Christian, who loved them very much. There was a big time machine in the basement they used for travelling, and they wanted to travel again, so they did, so they began their journey. They put the potion in the time machine, crash. While it was turning on, the travellers got in their position to leap into the time machine. Quick to get going, the time machine travelled 100,000 kilometres per second. Going through the, a portal, it threw them out of the time machine. Before they could speak, a grim reaper looking figure threw them into a dark place. Big factories spew out black smoke like volcanoes. Scared, Box shouted, let's go. Okay, cried Christian. Because the portal had now vanished, they had to go to the portal shop to buy a new one. Using all the power in their body to get the portal to the stranger's house, they chucked the potion in the time machine. Boom! They zoomed off. The hot, the sun, shot heat waves as tall coconut trees danced in the wind. Let's go to the beach, said the happy group. Awesome writing, Christian. Yeah, I agree. Following on from that amazing writing, we have Mia and Chase from Roommate reading theirs. Nala. Nala is a stealthy cheetah. She is a night owl. Her eyes are chocolate. Her fur is a black leather coat. She swims like a floppy fish. Splash, pow, plop. She barks like a motorbike. She eats like a tiny tyrannosaurus, followed by a powerful guy. She is my Nala. My brave little Tyrannosaurus. My Nan's cat is a sleeping grandpa. He is a hungry hippo. He is a calm sloth. He also is a beautiful lion. That was awesome. Great job. Now we have Room 12's incredible art.
They were incredible. I agree. Next we have up on the show, we have some poems from Room 10. Happy is the colour yellow, like the hot sun coming down on earth. Happy tastes like sour lemon squeezing into my mouth. Happy smells like fresh sweet sunflowers blooming along the path. Happy looks like a field of spring flowers popping up every second. Happy sounds like a firework bombing onto me. Happy overtakes me and makes me under control. Jealousy is grey like being alone in the middle of nowhere. Jealousy earns a bitter taste like biting into a sour lemon. Jealousy smells like thick grey plumes of smoke billowing up from a fire. Jealousy looks like Brett eating a big bin pie and you don't get one. Jealousy sounds like someone else driving an Alfa Romeo and you only have a run down rusty red Range Rover. Jealousy teases me. Happiness is yellow like a beautiful sunflower in the summer breeze. It tastes like a refreshing sweet glass of lemonade and smells like a freshly baked pavlova. It looks like friends playing hopscotch in the sun. Happiness sounds like little girls giggling in their dresses. Happiness takes over my body. I'm blown away. Yeah, me too. Now we have room 13 having balloon soccer fun with the dash robots. Mrs. Saw that said they have been doing a lot of fun coding activities lately. They noticed that compost that came from one of the compost tumblers had worms in it. Worms live in the ground, so how did they get into the tumbler? I think I think the sandflies made them. Yeah, the sandflies must have like taken them, like taken, taken eggs from the ground and just ran them off and put them in there. Like, Maybe. Oh, I don't really know. Oh, How do those bugs get in there anyway? I, I think I just saw a bug oh, hatch. Can I put on Kippy's nose? Mr. Brown says there is a prize for anyone who can explain how they got there. Good luck all you detectives. Now we have Team Cody's farewell to Mr. Jensen.
Mr. Jensen. Yeah, good luck. Last up on the show, we have photos of Karma High School students playing sports with us. That looks so fun. Yeah, so fun. Our library of the week. Our library reader of the week this week is Blake from Roommate. Some good choices there. Now, now it's time for the brain teaser. Last week's brain teaser was... Which word in the dictionary is spelled incorrectly? The answer was... Incorrectly. The people who got, got it right, right were... Sorry, too many people got it right this week. Awesome guess, you guys. Yeah, thanks for having a guess. Okay, let's welcome our new kids for this week. First, we have Scarlett from room 2 and Tilania from room 18. A huge welcome to all of you. Remember KPS, say hi to them if you see them around the school. Now, now it's time for the shout outs. My first shout out goes to room one, the best class in the school. My first shout out goes to Mr. Jensen. Thanks for teaching room six this term and good luck in the future. My second shout out goes to the KPS news crew. My third shout out goes to all my crazy and annoying friends. Mm -hmm. Oh. And um, another shout out to Ayush. Um, happy birthday. Happy to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ayush. Happy birthday to you.